Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see switch case statement in Google Apps Script. This is the syntax of a switch case statement. Um, basically this switch case statement is an advanced form of if else statement, multiple if else statement. So in the if else statement we are checking the conditions, the different conditions one by one in each if else statement. But if you take about this a switch case statement you are getting on expression and comparing the expression with a multiple cases so there is a main difference between a false statement and switch case statement if you see the syntax of switch case it starts with a keyword switch followed by the expression here you need to give the expression which you need to evaluate and it will take the expression and compare that expression with each cases given in inside the curly braces so if any of the case is satisfied or if any of the case is matched with the expression then it execute the instruction which is present inside this case and if break statement is present then it break and come out of the switch case statement if the break statement is not present then it start executing and cases which present next to it so it is always wise to use the break statement after each case statement if you want to break this case or if you feel that you want to execute two cases then you can take out this break statement so if this expression matches with this case n then it execute this code block and again also it execute this case as well and this case as this case will not be executed because here a statement break break this as switch case so this is how it works and for the last one a default statement or whatever may be the last case it you don't need to provide a break statement because that is a last case so it automatically it comes out of the uh, switch case statement so this is how a um, switch case statement works let's see an example of a switch case statement in google apps script editor so i have opened a blank spreadsheet and script editor here if you don't know how to open script editor go to tools and script editor it will open the script editor in a new window like this I just change the function uh, from a default the my function to for next and here what we are going to do is uh, we are going to get an input from the user uh, asking uh, asking him to enter a number say from 1 to 5 and we are going to display what was the number entered by that user that is what we are going to do with a switch case statement so I'm going to get the uh, UI of the spreadsheet so I'm going to create an instance for this uh, uh, spreadsheet app UI so I'm using spreadsheet app dot get UI so now I can able to get the UI where and I'm declaring another variable to get the text which is entered by the user that uh, instance is get underscore text ui dot prompt so i want the user to and ask him to enter number from one to five dot get response text So I have declared another variable get number because of this variable get underscore text store the variable which was entered by the user as a string format. So I need to convert that to a numerical format using a method parse int. And inside that method I am passing a value get text so that it convert this text format to a numerical format that is an integer format and now I can use that as an expression to evaluate a different cases so I have used an expression as get underscore num variable and inside the curly braces I am going to check multiple condition first I am going to check You should start with case 
followed by a case value here I'm going to check whether it's one and followed by a colon then press enter then here you need to mention the set of instruction which you need to execute if this case become true so I want prompt message to be displayed to the user saying that you have entered number one that's it once it is done I want to break this case so I need to repeat the same for five five times this is for case 2 this is for case 3 this is for case 4 this is for case 5 and this one is for default so you have entered number 2 I have to change this to number 3 and here 4 5 you have entered some other number So that's it. File save. So I have to close this one with a double quotation. Let's save the code and see. That's fine. So this is a switch key statement first i have get an instant of this uh, spreadsheet app ui next i'm prompting with a text enter any number from one to five in an uh, like in the form of input box and i'm storing the uh, response which entered by the user in a variable get underscore text then i'm converting the get underscore text which is a string format to an integer format using a method pass int then using a switch case statement I'm passing this gate num variable as an expression here and I'm checking this expression with the multiple cases starting from 1 2 3 up to 5 and if user enters some other value apart from 1 to 5 then I need to inform that user that you have entered some other number with a case default default is a kind of case that used to execute if none of the case match with expression that is the purpose of this default case so let's execute and see how it works so if you go here uh, you can see a prompt message asking user to enter a number from 1 to 5 I'm entering a number 3 see it showed a prompt message saying you have entered a number 3 so if I take out this break statement let's see uh, let's I commented that I have commented that now execute it once again and I'm entering the same 3 if you see you have entered number 2 sorry number 3 then again I'm getting a one more message saying you have entered number 4 because this doesn't break with the statement here break statement is missing so it continue with case next to this case 3 but it's not executing the case 5 because case 4 has a break statement so this is how a switch case statement work thank you for watching this video if you want a theoretical description of a switch case statement please do check out my blog post which i have given in the youtube description and let me know if you have any doubts or comments thank you for watching this video please subscribe